All right, guys, they're playing some Olaf top lane into an Orn. And I'm going to showcase you guys exactly how hard you can carry with Olaf in this patch. So, in short, we got a little tempo, we got triumph, we have alacrity, a last end. Most important, we got biscuits, and then we also have the approach velocity. Looks like my jungle wants to have some help in the jungle. I'm not going to do that because I actually want to fight level 1. If I decide to give my opponent the level 1 right now, then I'm going to have to play it safe on level 3, man. I'm going to take this one. There's a lot of junglers who still need help from uh, from their top lane to like, function. At least people think so, but that's not really the case that much anymore nowadays. If you need to win the level 1, don't be too scared to like ask your jungle. I wanted to go for the all-in right there, but glad I took a... I'm glad I walked back for a second. Well played by the Orn. Well played. That was really well played by Orn right there. I was going to go for the all-in. He took the... He hit the Q for the slow, then walked backwards immediately so I couldn't hit more. Orn is also like an interesting champ, like that guy can uh, easily win the first couple levels as well. Depends on like how well he can hit the Qs in W. As it looks, he's got the level 3 first, which I'm not too happy with. Nice, we got him. There you go. So, I talk about this quite a lot, but... It's kind of like what Olaf is like. Um, the early game is one of the best things about Olaf. Like, if you're looking for a top laner that can always win the level of 1, in any kind of case, it's gotta be Olaf. It's the best choice. Really well played by the Olaf. The guy is, like, holding the wave, and now I have to go back, because otherwise I'm gonna die to the Gragas. Well played. Okay, we're playing against an Orn that's actually using his brain very well this game. This is not really good for my lane, but nothing to worry about. It's all good. Shut down. Really smart guy for like holding the wave right there, because um, there's like no way for me to like stay up there and try and push it. Because firstly, I had like uh, 300 HP, I had like no mana, then the... Um, it was also 3 minute and 30, which means that Gragas is passing from here to here, which would let to him like ganking topside. So there's no wave only on Earth that I can like fight for that and reset the wave. So the good news is that like while he did freeze the wave, it's slowly starting to bounce back into me. I like that. That's nice. Uh, Gragas is in mid. I will place a ward down for in case he's going to start pathing here or for anybody else. Before we approach Orn, I'm just going to try and hit like a couple Qs. Hmm. Doesn't go for the last hits anymore. Okay. Smart guy. Respecting my, uh, respecting my champ. I'm not touching the wave as you can see. What I'm going to try and achieve here is I want to have the wave to like bounce uh, into me here and make it freeze. Also, if I keep the wave in this position here, I can fight easier, much easier. Smart guy. You walked away again. Sidestep my Q. Okay. Uh, we should probably get the kill right here. Yep. So you see, doesn't matter how smart your opponent plays, we'll get him. No problem here. Perfect. And let's go back here. So the first thing that we're going to buy, I would like to go for Tiamat, but it's not what we're going to do. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take the Lifesteal, we're going to take the Longsword, and we're going to take this one. What I want to try and achieve here is... Um, I want to have some form of sustain because Orn, as you can see, he can poke you all day with Qs, Ws, anything, right? If we have a lifesteal, we combine it with W, um, we can lifesteal ourselves from the wave, like much easier. Um, 
that's all we need like we win this lane through sustain orn does not have sustain so if he can out sustain him in the matchup it becomes even easier and that's why i'd rather have lifesteal buff the team map i could have bought the team map but like that would ruin the lane a little bit so i don't want to ruin the lane Again, I'm not going to fight him. I don't have proper vision of where Gragas is. Their chance of like getting ganked is very likely. So I'm just going to hit the Axis. We do have a Warden to try a botch, but that's not enough. That's Q's. I want to try and go for the 1v2 in case it, uh, it's going to happen. Nice. And we're probably being ganked right now. He was pathing towards the river, which means that is a possibility. Nice. Oh, I missed a cannon. I'm trolling. Well, yeah, I'm the, the usual thing, right? I start up a YouTube video. You guys know about it. <laughs> Every time I start up a YouTube video, like, I'm gonna miss the cannons. Gotta play too. Sweet. Like, at this point, the matchup is looking pretty much over. Um, we're winning very hard. There's no chance for him. Let's get that one too. Let's get back. Like, the fun thing is, like, when you play Olaf and you eventually uh, buy yourself the Tiamat into Hydra, um, the game is gonna, like, it's gonna be completely different because once we hit a Q and we Q it, like, right through the wave, the Q is not just gonna, like, hit everything, but the AoE damage is gonna allow you to, like, clear the whole wave for, like, one ability. That's, like, one of the beauties about the Hydra build. And that's why I would encourage you to do it. As for like maxing abilities, we're gonna max W um, because we got the little tempo set up, as you can see. And let's hold it like this. I have a very, I can like all in very easily. The only thing that I shouldn't be doing is like cast my R too soon because I need my R for um, for Gragas. He missed the cannon. Made sure he would actually miss it. And he's gonna die here. I think I'm gonna save my ignite. Yeah, I got him. I'm gonna save my ignite. I don't need my ignite right now. So again, we walk back. We're gonna go for the wave right here. Get another play for sure. And then we will head back again. Apparently I'm being ganked. Hmm. Yeah, that's the blunt life right there. <laughs> Let's go for this one. Uh, next day is gonna be this one. I think... That my next item is going to be probably stride breaker but i'm also thinking about trying trinity force right now because as you guys know like the, the item got buffed like around like three four weeks ago i want to try it out i want to put the trinity force to the test here i think that trinity force is a really good one because uh you have many ways to like proc the sheen like, you're always throwing axes. You use your W in the mid combo. You have your E. Like, it's actually pretty good. I wonder if I can kill this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Well. Well, okay, we get that kill then. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, sure, I guess. I think I'm being ganked by LeBlanc again. I'll take the risk. Pretty smart. 
Orn player so far. This guy is pretty clean with the sidesteps all the time. I think I might just shove this wave out and then probably go back. LeBlanc is still missing. I feel like I'm getting baited. I don't know. <laughs> the sidesteps, bro. The sidesteps. Okay, let's go back. So uh, we're going to buy the Berserker's Goose right now. And then we're going to go for the Trinity Force. And then things will actually become fun. I like Berserker's Greaves a lot, actually. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been like building the... I've been building the Berserker's Greaves more than Steel Caps and more than Mercs lately on Olaf. I just like it more. If you combine it with Hydra, it's excellent. Nice. Well, farming wise, we're like pretty far ahead of this guy. Oh, I hate that today. I'm just gonna go for plates. He's actually supporting me by doing this. Sorry, buddy. Olaf has burst. If you hit Q, auto W, E, you can dish out like four ways of damage pretty much immediately. There we go. Let's go for the final plating as well. And then we can start building the Harpon Axe and Trinity Force. Nobody seems to be here. That's good news. We have about 40 stacks on um, on my Hydra now. Let's go for Sheen and also this one. And then also go for the Ruby Crystal. I'll take a blue trinket as well. Always useful. Drake is actually up right now, so we're going to be pathing mid. An ally has been slain. This guy's got a Sunfire. He built Sunfire before Part Steel or whatever. Interesting. Sunfire is a good choice if you want to try and win lane. Let's walk back here. Cannot give this guy the chance to like let that wave push in because I don't want to lose anything of this. Yeah, the Gragas is apparently going for the Drake. I'm okay with it because that means that the blue buff is most likely up here. I'll try and capture it. Hey. Yeah, let's go for that blue buff. Uh, he'll most likely try and steal. I think the Blunk might also be on the way, I guess. Apparently not being here. Nice try. I'll take that one. Very aggressive Orn. Not gonna lie to you. Sidestepping. Man, I failed my ultimate and my ghost. The guy sidestepped my Qs again. Hmm. I feel like I'm bad. I feel like I'm getting ganked again. Hmm. No, apparently not. Nice. The those side steps, bro. Gotcha. This guy is like permanently walking to the sides. Never in a straight line. <laughs> That means like I can walk up to him. The uh, just the annoying thing is that he's got uh, slow on the Q. So if I try and walk up to it, it just doesn't quite work like that. The 
Let's take that wave once again. And let's grab this thing. My bot laners are having a very rough time this game. Nice. Okay, let's get back. We got the we got the Trinity Force right now, so the next thing we're gonna buy. It's gonna be a little bit more situational. Nice. Um, there are two directions that I want to build into. Um, I think the one that I like the most, by far, is this. And the reason why is because they have Orn and Gragas and Thresh. The only problem is that there's a Yasuo running across the map with like 12 kills and LeBlanc too. So it's not the most optimal choice because we're not going to get as tanky as we normally would be with Death Stance. But I want to try it out. We'll be taking a look because blade is like a very aggressive like build but it depends on how fat the enemy team is on and how much damage they have man the guy's running quick he's got face rush that's why the entire time he's at face rush i didn't even notice i was already curious like why he was that fast like he's been so fast the entire time bro that makes sense right now Let's grab the wave again. Your turret has been destroyed. Two people mid, one guy going bottom. There is the Yasu, which is missing, so he could be uh, he could be here. I'm going. Uh, I can't really push anymore because I'm uh, I can confidently tell that these guys are rotating topside. Can't wait to have like five points in E as well because we have we have uh, a lot of attack speed right now. What are you gonna do, buddy? Hmm. There are people on the way, so I guess I'm probably dead. Yeah, I guess I'm probably going to die. Uh, is that the fake one? It actually is. Of course, he had Ignite plus Flash. GG. Yeah, 14 kills. He also running across the map. It's not much you can do. I uh, used everything on Orn and LeBlanc. I could have I could have killed Yasuo though. But I, I had to use everything on LeBlanc. Didn't really have much of a choice. I can't like I can't just stand there and tank everything. Because my uh W heals me on the blunt. That's why I had to use it. Nice. My teammates are still getting stuff done. So it's not that bad. Grab this camp here. Actually, nah, it's got the buff has already been taken. Feels bad, man. I was actually gonna get it. I'm going. I think they might appear right here. I wanna take the wave and then uh, go back top. Now that I'm looking at it, we're not gonna fight that, by the way. We're just gonna stay up in mid. We can't win these, uh, these team fights. You got a fed Yasuo? Does not matter for me, man. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> I'm Olaf. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna pick up the blue buff as well. Oh, 
Okay. And there should be a wave right here, which unfortunately I'm not going to get all of them. Oh, there you go. It was still close enough. Yeah, it's uh, time we go back. It's time we're going to go for a blade and then we start building that stunt. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, man, I love this build. The only problem still, it remains, like, the Blanc is uh, pretty fed. But more importantly, the Yasuo is ultra fed. And if they all group up as five, there's not much I can do, if that makes sense. So, yeah. We're very limited, you know? But yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll take a look. Yeah, we're basically one versus three. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. Well, yeah. Welcome. This is Olaf. Nice. And let's go back top lane. So yeah, like my all my teammates are having a very bad game this game, but we're keeping up. Like uh so far we're managing to carry this. I hope that we can actually win this game. Because I am afraid about the scaling from Yasuo here. Hmm. That sucks, I didn't get the auto W. But yeah, again, like, we're playing against literally the entire enemy team, that's the problem. I can't go in... You know, kill the Thresh, kill the LeBlanc. I can kill Yasuo too, as long as I get the auto W, which I didn't get, by the way. I cast my R immediately. I mean my ultimate immediately. I mean my W, my bad. But yeah, I didn't get the auto reset. That's really unfortunate. Auto reset gives me so much damage, man. Because I can dish out like two autos immediately. So yeah. 75 away from death stance. Nice catch. Okay, let's try again. We need like uh, 35. Let's quickly grab the red buff. Pick up this one. <laughs> I'm Olaf, man. Let me just run through the entire enemy team. No problems. Ooh. I might actually get this one. Ah, come on, man. Ah, come on. You gotta be kidding here. I'm spending so much time chasing this down. I have a very hard time hitting Qs on this orb. This whole game, actually. It's because it's a face rush orn. Like, who plays face rush orn? <laughs> it's quite a good one, though. As you can see, it's clearly working. Nice. Let's go. That's a Drake right there, buddy. Hmm. 
Man against the whole world. This is bad, man. I had the... I, I need my ultimate. That's pretty much it. At least you still get the Drake, which they cancelled. Oh. They should have taken the Drake then. Make a choice, you know. Well, we can get like one more item. And this final item is going to be very, very important this game. Because if I go for magic resist, I can tank LeBlanc. But I don't think I need magic resist. I don't think so. LeBlanc doesn't seem that strong. So what I want to do is go Black Cleaver. Which helps like shredding down Orn, Gragas. And maybe with this item, maybe I can push the entire bot lane and just finish the game. At least that's what I'm going to try and do. So yeah, let's go. Is there... I don't hear the sound, actually. Oh, my headset is not that loud. The might of Lockbar Wait. Approaches. Yeah, Orn's already on his way. All of them are on their way, actually. Yeah, you see, LeBlanc is on his way too. Yasu too. Everybody. Look. Okay. Well, let's give this a try, shall we? Hmm. He doesn't really do any damage. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Unfortunately, my entire team died. And I don't think I can 1 versus 4 this. I kind of doubt it. I think the game might end here. The game's gonna end here. I don't think I can change anything. 2 versus 4? Nah, man. There's not much I can do here. Very limited. Uh, I need that Lux to like take that wave. I'll take the next one. What? That's a random wall right there. Oh. Oh, my ultimate expired. My ultimate expired. I was like this close to thresh like this like a pixel away from hitting an auto attack to keep my ultimate refreshing how unlucky is that actually like and then my whole team dies yep. this is not the ending of the game yet because we have a realm this way Man, that sucks. Like, I could have killed them all, man. I'm serious. I could have killed all of them. If I just had my ultimate activated there, like, and kept it refreshing. I would have killed legit everybody, man. That was going to be really awesome. Fortunately, though, like, the game is still standing. Uh, let's go for another one. Let's go. I will pick up the red buff. That one is very crucial here. And then we have to try and get the Baron. Nice. A very quick question to you guys. Do you guys hear anything in the background? Like uh, some sort of machine or something like that. Just curious. Nice. Okay, the Thresh, I mean the Thresh, I mean the Us is dead. Nice. This is good news, we can go Baron or Tower. Oh, 
Oh, they can do this thing. I'm gonna run mid. My teammates can take up the Baron, I think. Or they cannot, I guess. Oh, they do. They definitely do have enough damage. Um, I might still get him. Yeah. Oh no, I'm like standing outside auto range. Oh, not again. I wish that didn't happen, bro. I have some problems this game with not getting my auto attacks off because it's like pixel, like within the pixel, like standing just a pixel away from reaching out to the target which is so sad actually because actually led me to lose like two fights currently well it's just three people or two people pantheon does not want to try and fight no i can't replace my boots now i'll go for this one what I can also do is go hole breaker. But I think I like this more. The reason why I I go for Phantom Dancer and not like uh anything else is because like Berserker's Greaves is something that I need to like perform with the champ, right? If I sell that stuff and get like anything other than Phantom Dancer or anything other than like uh, anything that does not provide movement speed, then I will start struggling. So Your it's something like absolutely core to build. It's something I can't miss. I actually wrote down to my team to not die because I'm like splitting but I guess they're probably gonna die maybe I can get really far let's see Man, this game is super frustrating. Can I admit that? Because <laughs> I I should have had like an auto. Uh, I should have done like an auto W, and that would have uh, well pretty much fixed everything, I guess. But I accidentally failed it. And um, the LeBlanc can basically jump out of my auto attacks, and then my ultimate will obviously cancel or obviously reset. So yeah. This game is extremely frustrating, bro. It's uh, normally like games like this are incredibly easy, but like it's just that like look at this, right? <laughs> the early game was a mess to get through with, you know. I like that we're in the late game, but Olaf towards late game, you want to try and win the early mid game if that makes sense. If you play against like hard skating champs like Yasuo, you it's going to it's going to become a very hard game. Nice, that guy. If, if Yasuo dies, that's good news. Well, yeah, they're gonna go for Orn. I'm gonna push mid lane again to move in this game. Yeah, let's run, let's, let's run towards the base. We have about 34 seconds before the Yasuo is gonna spawn. This tower needs to go down before anything else. Like, that's like top priority. Oh man, their damage is so high right now. Hmm. 
Oh man, this is such a frustrating game. I don't really know what to tell you guys, man. <laughs> I don't know. This game is so weird. I don't think that I don't think that these two are gonna be able to kill off a Yasuo. Because they're being spawned with like three people. I kinda doubt it. We do have a Pantheon ultimate, by the way. That's uh, huge. Because the if Pantheon wants, he can actually rush the rush this thing with ultimate. So when they try and like go Drake or something like that, he can just run in and just use ultimate, and that's it. I can do the same thing as well. I can just hit R. I can. I. I'm not kidding. I can kill that Nexus in two seconds. If I get a chance to get there, if I auto W, it's like this corner right here. It's like a fourth. Easily. I'm doing way too much damage currently, so you can see it on my AD. I have 500 AD. 500 AD. Plus, my ultimate, you know, provides me even more, so. This will surprise you, man. If I if I get to that Nexus like once, bro. Yeah, the game will end. Let's give it two seconds. The Yasu is dead, by the way. Yep, here we go. Pantheon is on his way. The game will end right here. I'm getting to the Nexus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The game is over. Did you? I wish I had ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> we carried the game. Oh man. What a fantastic game. Hey, this is Olaf Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.